Hi, I'm Gustavo from FCST and today I want to present to you our FCST 01131 fiber access terminal box assembly video. This fiber access terminal box is very simple to install and very simple to use. I will show you the quick steps to prepare this box from the beginning to the end. So, first thing is to open the box. The box has a gelatin cover that surrounds the inside to perform the sealing of the closure. First step is to install adapters into the fiber access terminal box. We will install eight adapters to the max capacity of the terminal box. Install them carefully inside. They must be installed safely in order to prevent shaking when moving the box. Once all eight adapters have been installed inside without the covers in, we can now proceed to install the PLC splitters or individual splitters or pigtails as you may require. We connect the pigtail from inside and very carefully lay out the pigtail into the distribution tray. Once you reach the end, you can connect the, pig, the end pigtail to the splicing area. You do this for each individual pigtail. Once you have finished putting all the pigtails or splitters inside the splice tray, you have to cover the connection of the pigtails or splitters using a protection sleeve. To install the drop cable, all you need to do is slide it into the in, one of the inlet slots and connect it to the splice tray where you can perform the fusion using a fusion splicer to connect it to one of the pigtails. Once you have done the protection using the protection sleeve, you can now prepare the drop cable to be led inside and be connected using fast connectors that will connect to the adapters. To prepare the drop cable, all you need is a buffer stripper, flat drop cable stripper, and a fiber cleaver. First, you separate the strength member from the core of the drop cable. Then you peel off the jacket that covers the drop cable using drop cable split stripper. Press and remove. Now that the two fiber cables are exposed, we can work on each one of them using the jacket stripper 
work on one of them. We now operate to cut the fiber cable using a fiber cleaver. We now work on placing the mechanical fast connector on the drop cable. Once you have installed the drop cable, you can connect the fast connector. Once you are done, all you have to do is close your fiber access terminal box and the process is terminated.